To us humans, space is our biggest mystery. 95% of our universe consists of dark matter and dark energy, which refers to matter and energy we don't even know about. This means that we only know about 5% of the universe and are constantly finding brand new things about space and the planets around us. That was awesome. That's the only thing I can <laughs> really uh, say absolutely right wild. Now. Absolutely wild. <laughs> Here are 15 mysterious NASA discoveries that will leave you speechless. Black Hole Song To start us off, we'll be talking about black holes. A black hole is an area of space where gravity pulls so much that light can't get out. But in August 2022, NASA released the sound of a black hole and what noises it actually makes. This confused a lot of people. And most people thought that space is such a vacuum that it didn't allow sound waves to travel at all. But on NASA's Twitter account, they cleared this up. The misconception that there's no sound in space originates because most space is a vacuum, providing no way for sound waves to travel. A galaxy cluster has so much gas that we've picked up actual sound. Here it's amplified and mixed with other data to hear a black hole. In a galaxy cluster called Perseus, one of NASA's X-ray observatories picked up the sound. As NASA explained, astronomers discovered that pressure waves sent out by the black hole caused ripples in the cluster's hot gas that could be translated into a note, one that humans cannot hear some 57 octaves below middle C. The noise simply sounds like the score from a horror or science fiction movie. It's clear that the black hole is simply living up to its name. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. But before we move on, it's time for this video's missing topic. NASA regularly posts its findings and amazing revelations on its website and on social media. But are they really telling us everything? This photo is something they didn't want you to see. Chinese hackers wanted to infiltrate NASA's computer system, and with one of China's greatest hackers on the job, he inevitably broke in. He was only meant to shut their system down and cause a bit of commotion, but his curiosity got the best of him, and he started looking into some top secret files on the cloud. In these files was this image. Here we see two soldiers and what looks like an alien life form between them. The hacker believes that if the Chinese released a similar photo, nobody would take it seriously. If NASA didn't capture this, no one would believe it. But let us know what you think. Make sure to let us know in the comments and include the hashtag missing files. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Jupiter's Earth Swallowing Storm Next up, if you thought that the sounds of a black hole were terrifying, wait till you hear about this. The James Webb Telescope is a telescope floating in outer space and can capture images we've never seen before. NASA recently released images of Jupiter from this telescope and they were simply mesmerizing. On top of the planet is a red dot and that's meant to mark a storm. But not just any storm, it was a storm big enough to swallow the entire Earth. The wind speeds of this storm travel at 432 kilometers an hour, which is 30 kilometers an hour slower than a commercial aircraft. Astronomer Enki de Pater of the University of California, Berkeley said in a statement, we've never seen Jupiter like this. It's all quite incredible. We hadn't really expected it to be this good, to be honest. The red spot is 16,000 kilometers and has the shape of a giant pancake. NASA researcher Marzia Parisi told the Times of Israel, to get an idea of its dimensions, if a storm of the same size started on the surface of Earth, it would extend all the way up to the International Space Station. While there are talks of humans possibly living on Mars, it looks like humans won't be going near Jupiter anytime soon. <laughs> Alien Metal Rock And speaking of Mars, here's one of the strangest discoveries found on this planet. NASA has a rover currently looking through the planet called Curiosity, which found an egg-like rock lying around. This is a golf ball or egg-shaped rock which is believed to have fallen from the sky. One researcher from Chemtech examined the rock and he told the Huffington Post, the dark, smooth and lustrous aspect of this target and its sort of spherical shape attracted the attention of some MSL scientists when we believed the mass cam images at the new location. 
These rocks are formed when asteroids heat up and the iron inside them sinks to the core, so the rock itself is evidence of a meteorite. Scientists can examine this and see how Mars' environment affects meteorites and compare it with how meteorites are affected by Earth. Scientists believe that Mars could have harbored microbial life, which are small organisms like bacteria. <laughs> Arakoth So Mars is 146 million miles away from Earth, but scientists have looked much, much further beyond this point. One of the farthest objects from Earth is the Arakoth. This word means sky in a Native American language. This is the most distant object space exploration has ever reached. Arakoth, the object, is an icy rock located on the Kuiper Belt. This belt is the third zone of the solar system, which goes beyond the inner terrestrial planets and the outer gas giant planets. It's a shape that's been compared to a snowman, peanut, or bowling pin. The shape is officially known as contact binary, which means that it has two lobes which are stuck together. Given the incredibly freezing temperatures, there's unlikely to be a life living here. It's estimated to be minus 231.2 degrees Celsius, where the Earth's Antarctic is negative 60 degrees Celsius. While this seems like an icy rock in the middle of nowhere, it's incredibly useful to scientists when studying the universe. Another researcher from the Southwest Research Institute said in a statement, data from the newly named Arakoth has given us clues about the formation of planets and our cosmic origins. We believe this ancient body, composed of two distinct lobes that merged into one entity, may harbor answers that contribute to our understanding of the origin of life on Earth. <laughs> Moon wobble. We think of the moon as a far away and distant object, but it has an enormous effect on our everyday lives, particularly if you live near the coast. The moon's gravitational pull generates a tidal force that controls the tides of our ocean. However, there is a moon wobble expected in the next decade, which may cause major flooding. NASA's sea level change science team believes that high tides will cause floods much worse than seen before and could last for a month or even longer. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said, Low-lying areas near sea level are increasingly at risk and suffering due to the increased flooding, and it'll get worse. The combination of the moon's gravitational pull, rising sea levels, and climate change will continue to exasperate coastal flooding on our coastlines and across the world. NASA's sea level change team is providing crucial information so that we can plan, protect, and prevent damage to the environment and people's livelihoods affected by flooding. <laughs> Terrifying Jack-O-Lantern They say you should never look directly at the sun, and this disturbing image from NASA gives us another reason why. This terrifying image was captured by NASA and released just before Halloween. The sun looks like a giant flaming jack-o-lantern. Explaining these images, NASA said, there are markers of an intense and complex set of magnetic fields hovering in the sun's atmosphere, the corona. This image blends together two sets of extreme ultraviolet wavelengths at 171 and 193 angstroms, typically colorized in gold and yellow, to create a particularly Halloween-like appearance. Areas are brighter than others because they're places which emit more light and energy. They just happen to look like an incredibly creepy face. Moon Pyramids Ceres is a dwarf planet between the orbits of Jupiter and Mars. In 2015, NASA spotted bright spots on the surface representing pyramids or hills. The images have stoked imaginations across the internet. It's a boring hill or is a pyramid of an alien civilization? This five-mile mountain also has a strange glowing on one of its sides. The beautiful image presents a fascinating picture of the area, but does not give conclusive enough evidence of other life forms. These beautiful images were captured by NASA's Dawn spacecraft while it was hovering around. Carol Raymond, the deputy principal investigator for the mission, told the Daily Mail, It's defied our expectations and surprised us in many ways, thanks to a year's worth of data from Dawn. We're hard at work on the mysteries the spacecraft has presented to us. <laughs> space radishes One of the biggest questions asked by space enthusiasts is whether humans can live on different planets. The biggest test on whether humans could exist on different planets is whether we can grow food and crops outside of Earth, and in 2021, we got our answer. NASA decided to grow radishes in outer space. The astronaut Kate Rubens plucked 20 radish plants from its advanced plant habitat on the International Space Station. This is one of 11 experiments done by NASA to try and grow food out in space. Red romaine lettuce and Mizuna mustard are just two of the foods which NASA are trying to grow. So, why radishes? 
NASA APH Program Manager Nicole Dufour explained, Growing a range of crops helps us determine which plants thrive in microgravity and offer the best variety and nutritional balance for astronauts on long-duration missions. So instead of sending supplies up to the moon, astronauts could save a lot of space by bringing seeds up to the moon and eat them once they've grown over the course of their mission. He also said, I've worked on APH since the beginning and each new crop that we're able to grow brings me great joy because what we learn from them will help NASA send astronauts to Mars and bring them back safely. It's one small step for man and one giant leaf for mankind. <laughs> heartbeat of the Universe One of the strangest discoveries has been described as the heartbeat of the universe. Astronomers are always on the lookout for things called radio bursts which are extremely bright pulses of radio waves that come from faraway galaxies. In July 2022, astronomers discovered a radio pulse from a faraway galaxy and it sounded like the beating of a human heart. It was also the longest and clearest surrounding radio burst ever discovered. One representative of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology told CNN, it was unusual. Not only was it very long, lasting about three seconds, but there were periodic peaks that were remarkably precise, emitting every fraction of a second. Boom, boom boom, like a heartbeat. This is the first time the signal itself is periodic. He added, this detection raises the question of what could cause this extreme signal that we've never seen before and how we can use this signal to study the universe. Future telescopes promise to discover thousands of FRBs a month and at that point we may find many more of these periodic signals. <laughs> Mars Noodles one of the most fascinating discoveries found by the Mars rover has been these noodle-like objects. They're obviously not noodles, but scientists still have no idea what they are. The most plausible, and usually the most boring explanation, is that it's simply debris or junk from a previous space mission. The rover team tweeted, My team has spotted something unexpected. It's a piece of a thermal blanket that they think may have come from my descent stage, the rocket-powered jetpack that set me down on landing day back in 2021. At the moment, these noodles or spaghetti-type debris are believed to be rubbish which came from a previous space mission. But one of the biggest problems facing space exploration is space junk. Through decades of space travel, humans have left an abundance of material into space. If you leave something in space, it just goes into orbit and floats around. The danger is that there could be collisions. In this sense, astronauts are probably less worried about aliens and more concerned about a leftover satellite hitting them. Hmm. Spaceman. And of course, we couldn't talk about space without mentioning the future supreme leader of Mars, Elon Musk. Musk is the CEO of both SpaceX and Tesla. So one day he decided, why don't I send a Tesla into space? And when you're the richest man in the world, that's what you can do. So four years ago, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy flew into space carrying a Tesla Roadster. Inside the Roadster is a mannequin sitting in the driver's seat. He's been nicknamed Starman. This is in reference to the song Starman by David Bowie, who regularly wrote songs about space travel. But this is probably a bit more than Elon Musk having a bit of fun. It was a test launch, and the fact that it can carry a Tesla Roadster into space is a good measure of the force and power of this rocket. Now, SpaceX can plan future missions knowing that it's the sort of weight that these rockets can hold. CNN reported on Starman and his lonely Tesla journey in February 2022. They believe that in its 234 million miles from Earth and about 200 million miles from Mars, a more accurate update can be found on whereisroadster.com. CNN also claims that the Roadster has since traveled nearly 2 billion miles and 2.6 loops around the Sun. In 2020, it had a close encounter with Mars and passed within 5 million miles from it. It isn't expected to come near another planet until 2035, when it will brush closer towards Mars. Apparently, the likelihood of the car colliding with the Earth within the next 15 million years is about 22%. So, if you see a Tesla falling from the sky, it's probably Starman making a wrong turn. <laughs> mysterious Door The Mars rover has also spotted something which has been compared to a mysterious door of some kind. In May 2022, the rover spotted a fracture 12 inches high and 16 inches wide, which is a similar size to a dog door. People first imagined it could be used for an air raid, shelter, or underground bunker. But sadly, the idea of a Martian hideaway was far from the truth. Apparently, this is a naturally occurring bedrock found on both Earth and Mars. As humans, 
we initially often see something more meaningful than what's presented to us and is known as pareidolia. According to NDTV, we evolved this trait from our ancestors who would need to be able to spot predators quickly. This results in a lot of false positives, but as NDTV explained, seeing a predator where there is none is better than not seeing a predator who then eats you. So at least if we really do come across an alien trap door, we'll definitely spot it. Hmm. <laughs> Morse code on Mars. By now, you're probably wondering, have aliens ever tried contacting humans? One of the closest bits of evidence pointing towards this has been discovered on Mars. One of its dunes is a pattern of dots and lines. Scientists initially believed that these could be a form of Morse code. It was thought that it was a language aliens were using to communicate with humans or any other life forms which happened to be there. However, it turns out that these patterns were naturally formed and were not a message from extraterrestrials. They were disappointingly carved by the wind. The very prominent pattern is because the dunes are found in a natural circular depression. This means that there's a limited amount of sand to be pushed around by the wind and results are very striking patterns and shapes. However, there still is a little bit of mystery surrounding the dots. Geophysicists are convinced that they are caused when something has interrupted the winds from creating lines. So maybe there is still a little mystery left to these amazing looking patterns. On a planet with apparently nothing living on it, what's interrupting the winds? Hopefully, we'll find out soon. Secret Rover Code As we mentioned earlier, NASA has rovers on Mars which drive around and look around. And for the launch of one of their rovers, NASA decided to leave a very cryptic message to see if anyone spotted it. Thankfully, some incredibly intelligent person spotted it within a few hours. After the launch of a rover on Mars, NASA said that there was a secret message on its parachute. The internet went wild with multiple theories on what the message was behind this parachute. On the parachute, there were many columns which went towards the center. There are also four main rings with different patterns. If you consider a red location a 1 and a white location as a 0, you'll get a very specific set of numbers. If you put them into groups of 10, you get a 10-bit pattern. If you take the numbers and translate them into computer code, you get a bunch of letters. And these letters spell out dare mighty things. This was a phrase which dates back to US President Theodore Roosevelt in 1899. This code was discovered by Twitter user Abella Paff. The only explanation as to how he solved this impossible puzzle in the space of a few hours is that he could possibly be an alien himself. Seven Year Magnetic Wave Lastly, we'll leave you with something amazing which happened on our very own home planet. Underneath your feet right now is the Earth's crust. Below that is the Earth's upper mantle, which contains molten rock. This rock is moving around as we speak and creates a magnetic field. The Earth's magnetic field is often compared to a giant bubble which surrounds our Earth and protects us from cosmic radiation and other charged particles. And in 2022, an entirely new magnetic field was found, proving that even on Earth, there are still brand new things we're only finding out. Scientists believe that magnetic waves exist along the Earth's upper mantle alongside the boundary it shares with the Earth's mantle. The wave sweeps slowly across the Earth, moving at 0.1 miles per hour. At this speed, it takes this field seven years to travel around the Earth. Dr. Nicholas Gallet explained geophysicists have long theorized over the existence of such waves, but they were thought to take place over much longer timescales than our research has shown. Measurements of the magnetic field from instruments based on the surface of Earth suggested that there was some kind of wave action, but we needed the global coverage offered by measurements from space to reveal what's actually going on. So, while there's an amazing phenomenon happening on Mars and across the solar system, there are still some pretty cool things happening closer to home. And that just brings us to the end of our video. As we mentioned at the start, we only know about 5% of our universe, so we've only scratched the surface so far. Who knows what amazing and interesting things NASA will discover in the future? Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again in the next video.